Assembly instructions for the Series 2000 PV Megalug Joint Restraint. Step 1. Identify the pipe. The 2000 PV is for use with PVC and HDPE pipe. The 4 inch through 12 inch size may be used on C900 and IPS PVC pipe as well as C906 HDPE pipe. Check to see if the spacers under the screws are in place. If the pipe is C900 or is ductile iron OD, proceed with spacers in place. If the pipe is IPS OD, remove the spacers. Since 3 inch and 14 inch through 24 inch restraints are only used with one pipe diameter, no spacers are used. Step 2. Clean the socket and the plane end. Lubrication and additional cleaning should be provided by brushing both the gasket and plane end with soapy water or an approved pipe lubricant meeting the requirements of ANSI AWWA C111 A21.11 just prior to slipping the gasket onto the plane end for joint assembly. Place the gland on the plane end with the lip extension toward the plane end. Follow by the gasket with the narrow edge of the gasket toward the plane end. The gasket provided may be the EBA Seal Improved Mechanical Joint Gasket for C900 PVC pipe. This gasket is bidirectional, having no front or back. For ASTM 2241 PVC pipe, sizes IPS OD, a transition gasket must be used. The use of a pipe wall stiffening insert is required on high density polyethylene pipe. Note, in cold weather, it's preferable to warm the gasket to facilitate assembly of the joint. Step 3. Insert the pipe into the socket and press the gasket firmly and evenly into the gasket recess. Keep the joint straight during assembly. Step 4. Push the gland toward the socket and center it around the pipe with the gland lip against the gasket. Insert bolts and hand tighten nuts. Make deflection after joint assembly, but before tightening bolts. Step 5. Tighten the bolts to the normal range of bolt torque. 45 to 60 foot-pounds for 3 inch, 75 to 90 foot-pounds for 4 inch through 24 inch, 100 to 120 foot-pounds for 30 inch and 36 inch, and 120 to 150 foot-pounds for 42 inch and 48 inch while at all times maintaining approximately the same distance between the gland and the face of the flange at all points around the socket. This can be accomplished by partially tightening the bottom bolt first, then the top bolt, next the bolts at either side, finally the remaining bolts. Repeat the process until all bolts are within the appropriate range of torque. In large sizes, 30 to 48 inch, Five or more repetitions may be required. The use of a torque indicating wrench will facilitate the procedure. Step 6. Tighten the torque limiting twist off nuts in a clockwise direction, direction indicated by arrow on top of nut, until all wedges are in firm contact with the pipe surface. Continue tightening in an alternating manner until all of the nuts have been twisted off. Step 7. If removal is necessary, utilize the 5 8 inch hex heads provided. If reassembly is required, assemble the joint in the same manner as above. Tighten the screws to 60 to 80 foot-pounds. If the Series 2000 PV restraint is removed from the pipe, be sure that all of the screws, spacers if required, and wedges are in place before the restraint is reassembled. For more information and to see all of EBA Iron's innovative products, Go to www.eba.com.